uh, 3-1 <coughs> win here against uh, Eastleigh. What were your thoughts on the game? Um, we started the game well, obviously first goal from Manny, and we scored early on, the second goal was a non goal which was quite good because it's always good when you when you start scoring early in the game so that you don't have to run after the game but yeah it was quite um, a bit physical especially for me because i was against two strong center halves and the gaffer gave us instruction we just had to stick to it so yeah i guess um you were coming up against the against those two uh, strong center halves you were you seem to enjoy those sort of battles at times you're backing into them you're staying strong and and, and you're frustrating them quite a bit as well. Yeah, yes. Um, well, for me, as the gaffer said, to win a game you have to win your individual battles. So yeah. for me, it was about winning my individual battles. Don't care about the others. Win yours. So that was the first thing I had to do. Make sure I win my battles. So they were strong, but like even if, as, as I usually say, even if you're 120 stones, six foot, seven feet, I'm going to win the ball. So I'm going to work. I work at the. I work a lot at the gym. So is to, to be against this kind of centre half. They were quite big. But yeah man, I was enjoying it. I was enjoying it. <laughs> and you seem to really enjoy it when that ball came to you, you pick it up, halfway line, ran through, great finish. Talk oh, us yeah. through. Thank you mate. Thanks. Um well when I saw the counter and I knew I looked and I looked at um, I was at who was behind me before getting the ball so I knew it was one view one situation. Yeah. We saw clips of um, this team before the game and I about the number 15, their centre half. I saw, I saw their weakness and their strength, so I knew it was my strength against their weakness. So when I ran against him, I knew he couldn't. He could It was a one v one, which I work a lot during training. And then yeah, I took him on. And to be fair, I didn't expect to get the ball like that. But yeah, thanks God, he went into the goal. And I finished with your left foot as well. You were saying the first of the season with your left. Yeah, the first of the season with my left foot. Um, Two were on the right foot, one with the header, and yeah. this is the first with the left foot. So, so good to get the yeah. whole collection, eh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and how big of this? Uh, how big a win is this? Um, I know it's only five games in, uh, but we are top of the table. It's the best start of any team, so that must be really pleasing. Definitely, mate. Well, I was, I was a bit upset because of the the goal we considered because I read somewhere we were beating records because yeah. we had four games, four clean sheet. I wanted to keep going like this. So after this score, that was big. Like I'm not sent back, but I didn't want him to score. But yeah, it's really important to start this season like this because if you want to go for promotion, you have to start picking points early on, not at the end. Because at the end, everyone will be starting, everyone will be putting in and trying to get the points. But at the start, we keep winning, and then we get kind of a gap between the second and the third. Then it will definitely be advantageous for us. I saw you um, were limping a little bit at the end of the game. Um, how are you feeling? Oh, feeling, I wouldn't say feeling good, but yeah, I was a bit struggling because as you, as you saw, they were kicking me all over. Yeah. Uh, giving me knocks, elbows, it was hard, but yeah, the, um, I think it was the centre back that gave me a kick on the laps, and it was a thing, a dead leg, and I had a dead arm as well. But after scoring, because I had it, I think it was the first half, so. But I, like, I wasn't feeling it because I was warm. Yeah. But when we went the second half, 15 minutes, it was a bit of cool down. So when it came off, I was like, yeah, it's a bit hurting, but I can still play. I I wanted to score a goal before, if I had to get up, I wanted to score a goal definitely. So when I saw that chance, I scored. Yeah. And then after scoring, I asked for the gaffer. I think I asked him to to get me subbed off, but he told me. <laughs> I <was laughs> so I just had to stay up, up, up front. It wasn't easy. But like it's a mental battle, it was a yeah. mental battle and I had to be strong, so thanks God I did it. Um, you got that goal, talk to me about the celebration, you seem to be enjoying these fortnight celebrations <laughs> at the minute. Yes, um, again it's due to the relationship I've got with fans, because yeah. some of them told me, I think it's one that told me this got today, good for the L dance. <laughs> and yesterday in the hotel I had a look online, what was the L dance and I saw it was the Griezmann, Griezmann celebration. Yeah. I was like, okay, I'll try it. So after scoring, I was like, okay, let me just, let me just do it. Yeah, it's about four or five celebrations yeah, in there. Yeah. <laughs> just unlucky with the yellow card at the end as well. Oh yeah, I, I, honestly, I didn't. I, I hate, I hate being booked. Yeah. So if I knew the ref was watching at me, I would, I would, I would just had one off in my, um, in my half. But yeah, yeah. I'm lucky for, for that one. Yeah, but we got a full week now of preparation before two big games next week. Yes. Um, yeah, like the, the start of the season was hard since, like, since um, 
since what well, since the early well, early August, not, yeah, yeah. yeah so we're playing tuesday saturday tuesday but now we've got the, the next game will be next week so at least we've got enough time to to get fresh prepare and bounce back again against bromley next week brilliant well done mike thank you